Hey everyone, my name is Rob Guella. I'm the owner of Kitchen Virtue out of Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. I was in Japan with Mr. Murray Carter of Carter Cutlery and his apprentice Grayson about two weeks ago and I wanted to put together a quick video to detail my time with them. Um, after reading a little bit about Murray uh, over the, the past few months, uh, buying one of his books and, and reading it, I reached out to the guys at uh, Carter Cutlery uh, to figure out how I could spend some time with Murray, either at his shop in Oregon, uh, doing a knife forging class, or maybe going out to Japan and tagging along uh, with him during one of his uh, many business uh, trips uh, there. Um, previously I had been to Japan uh, in April 2014 and uh, it, it was an amazing trip uh, but business opportunities uh, were few and far between um, because really I, I you know had a hard time communicating with the business people that I already do business with there um, and obviously trying to get new contacts uh, when you, you can't speak the language is, is a very difficult thing. Uh, so I explained this all to uh, Murray and, uh, and you know that I essentially wanted to go back to Japan to get a better grasp uh, of the, the cutlery industry, um, you know make some new business contacts and, uh, and lastly really just be able to take everything in you know around me that you know they can really do when you have someone with you that understands the language and, and, and the culture and you know and the people so um, a good opportunity arose um, in mid-January was very short notice um, but I, I dropped everything and, and just got on a plane and and uh, and uh, you know made my way to Japan um, and from the time that I, I landed in, in Tokyo and met with Murray uh, at the airport, uh, you know, it was just a, a, a pleasure. Uh, Mur Murray is very easy to get along with, um, and he has a, a wealth of knowledge that I was, you know, more than happy to tap into uh, throughout the entire trip. Now, we were there for one week, and it was a pretty uh, intensive uh, schedule. Um, we, we spent time in, in Tokyo, uh, Fukui, Ono, Osaka, uh, Seki City, and Nagano. And, you know, in each one of these cities, we essentially would meet with, you know, one or two different contacts that Murray has. And it's people from, you know, uh, steel factories uh, to knife manufacturers to knife wholesalers and bladesmiths, you know, essentially every different industry that's involved with knife making from the raw uh, materials of steel to, you know, the, the end product. Um, and I guess a couple highlights of the trip for me uh, were meeting with um, Mr. Kenichi Shiraki, um, whom Murray considers to be one of the top bladesmiths in, in all of Japan. Um, you know, we spent a fair bit of time in his shop uh, watching him work, watching him at the forge. Um, and then Murray had, you know, pretty much free reign of, of the shop. So he took us around and show us, uh, showed us different stations and, and introduced us to different people working there. Uh, you know, it was a real, real treat. Um, Another highlight was meeting with uh, Mr. Uh, Sakamoto, who of course uh, Murray uh, apprenticed under many, many years ago. Um, that was a pretty special, uh, you know, time that was spent uh, with, with both of them. Um, but uh, one of the big things I found that, uh, you know, being there with Murray is there's a, a huge amount of mutual respect between Murray and the people that he knows uh, in the cutlery business in Japan. Um, and I think that respect really leads to uh, the contacts in Japan really going above and beyond you know with their time for us. Uh, they really you know they gave us very in-depth uh, review you know tours of their 
of their factories and facilities. Um, you know, they took us to really, really nice uh, lunches, fantastic dinners. Um, and it was just a great opportunity to learn so much about the cutlery business. Um, and not only that, but like the food and the culture was just a great learning experience. And of course, with Murray there being able to translate and having such a, a great, you know, relationship with the people we met, um, you know, there's just no questions that, that went unanswered. So, um, would I re recommend this trip for you? I mean, if you have any interest whatsoever in, in Japanese cu cutlery, uh, Japanese culture, Japanese food, um, I would say that going uh, to Japan with Murray uh, in one of his group tours or even solo with him uh, will really elevate the experience. Uh, you know, I've gone to Japan, as I mentioned earlier, uh, on my own, and I'm sure anybody who's been to Japan or wants to go to Japan, it would be an amazing time regardless. Uh, but if you really, really want to uh, experience it with someone who knows the culture, the language, it'll, it'll make it a, 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 a much better time, in my opinion. Um, if you're into Japanese cutlery, I mean, you know, Murray's going to show you uh, things and introduce you to people in the business that you're really going to cherish, and I, and I know I will, uh, for a long, long time. Is really it'll give you a great appreciation, a greater appreciation for the knives and, and other products that come from Japan as well. Um, so yeah, it, it, it was great. I want to thank Murray for uh, you know for showing me a great time. I want to thank the contacts in Japan who Murray introduced me to, who were so gracious um, when we were there. Uh, I very much appreciate it. Uh, and that's about it. Th thank you so much.